Shabbat Shalom. What a beautiful day today. Ah, oh, it's just so amazing. Just hey, Shabbat Shalom. Oh my God, so great to be with you. Shabbat Shalom. I'm so emotional. Friends, it is such a joy to wish you Shabbat Shalom. Usually, I wish you Shabbat Shalom from lovely Lawrence, Kansas. But this week, I have the great privilege to wish you Shabbat Shalom. Together with every single one of my many, many siblings, thank God, we gather together to celebrate Shabbat. And I'm just coming to you from such a place of raw emotion and tremendous joy to be together with my dear family. Because after all, family is everything. But you know, I have one challenge, dear brothers. It's so special to be together. But the reality is very soon, I'm going back to Lawrence, Kansas, and we're gonna be apart once again. How can we hold on to those special moments that we experience in life? Sometimes we get inspired and it evaporates. How do we ensure that it stays forever? Brother, it is so special to be here with you. You have the, you have the quintessential question, how to keep the inspiration going. We look at the Torah portion of this week. Moses came down like Charles Heston, but the real Moses came down with a set of tablets. It shattered, too much trouble. He made another set. And that was the one that lasted forever until today. What is the difference to the first and second? The first was carved by God. It didn't last. It was an inspiration from above. The second set of tablets, God said, Moses, you gotta go out, carve it, and I will inscribe upon it. Because when it's man-made inspiration, when the inspiration comes from down here below, it's an everlasting inspiration. And friends, that is what I take care from this weekend. Shmuel, what do you think? It's hard. That is such a powerful message. And I think to myself practically, each and every day if I get up and I can say, what could I do to work on myself today? What could I do to elevate myself and the world around me? It's much greater than just being inspired from above. It's when I work on myself and it impacts me in such a real, powerful, true way. And you know, that's really fitting because we're now in the month of Adar, the month of joy. So each and every day if I ask myself, what could I do to work on myself? And not just work on myself, but work on myself joyously, the whole day will be different. Because when we do everything with joy, it changes everything. So let's do it! Shami, 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 shami,